Alright, what's up everybody? This is Mods from POVGame.TV. We are in the world of Talara, motherfucking Rift. And, um, we are currently touring one of, um, my favorite things to come into an MMO since, well, EverQuest 2 did it. And, uh, Rift has done it much better. This is actually my personal, um, Dimension, which is the new housing system, but not only is a new motherfucking housing system It's a it's a fully fleshed out landscape for you to customize and it is awesome um, Can I go over a little bit? Uh, this is actually the uh, stone flask tavern, which is the um, kind of the dimension based in granite hills um, It's a this one I think cost me 500 plat. Uh, it's fucking expensive. The uh, I think the most expensive one is the uh, $1,500 plat one, which you may have seen in the trailers for the dimensions. It's a uh, it's kind of like a canyon landscape. Looks like it belongs in Ember Isle, which is kind of the inspiration they took from it. So let's get started. So this was pretty barren when I started. Um, I've spent several hours. You can see right there on my screen that I've placed 377 items out of 600 items. Um, it is really fucking expensive. Um, you can see my next upgrade to place 800 items is 300 plat. Um, I have 1400 right now, which is pretty dope. Um, but this shit costs crazy amounts of money. It is definitely a... Um, a money sink. So let's kind of go over what I've done. I've had a fucking blast. I mean, back in EverQuest 2, which I've, you know, played since release, up until, you know, whenever I jump back in, I have a free subscription uh, for life. Not a free-to-play, but a free subscription for life. I got lucky one time. But, um, EverQuest 2, you can customize. They have so many different housing types and so many different things that, um, you can place in your houses. They basically take every art asset in the game and let you place it, which I'm hoping Rift does. But Rift's system is so much better and so much easier to use. Um, I'll go over some of the capabilities shortly. Kind of want to do a little mini tour of my uh, my little house here. I see I've started a bedroom, got a fur bed, got some tables and shit, bookcases. Um, uh, more bookcases, uh, a fucking dirty waste basket, I guess. Um, my kind of philosophy when I start building houses is I buy fucking everything on, uh, auction house. I buy several multiples of every kind of placeable house item. And I just start putting them places. Um, so this is my bedroom. Then you go over here. This is going to be my kitchen that I'm working on. I get real fucking gay about this shit. I love this kind of customization. But oddly enough, I never played Minecraft um, because it's fucking ugly and I can't get down with that. I just can't. I just can't. So nothing you see here came default except for the fireplace. Everything here I placed. Got a little cooking area. Got a pot. Some bones I was working on. Um, these are all your ingredients. You got your rice, uh, beans, uh, ch butter churner more ingredients. This is almost a dry storage for those in the food industry that might know what the fuck that is. These are big ass kegs for all my parties I'm gonna have alone. Um, um, this, if you go upstairs, these these stairs are, are a placeable item. You can resize them and, do, and rotate them any way you please. And this actually, this whole platform I built recently. I'm actually gonna take this concept even further and I'm gonna build a whole second story across this entire uh, area. I just get really elaborate about this shit. I like to build up instead of out. So this is going to be a bar. You can actually buy a bartender. So I'm going to put a motherfucking uh, bar right here. Bartender, serve you drinks. Got, you know, my, ta my tables with some candles and some books. Um, the only thing that this place is missing so far is um, uh, art assets like a uh, like literal art, like paintings, like EverQuest 2 had almost every kind of um, concept art they've ever done in box art, everything as a painting that you could actually put on your wall. So, you know, I put my little shrine here. Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't want to uh, spoil that part yet that I just faced toward. So let's head out, man. Well, uh, this is my porch. 
haven't decided what I'm going to do here yet. Um, I kind of try to think of what I would... I try to literally create where I would like to live, and apparently I want to live in a swamp, because I'm a redneck. I am from the south. But... So I actually try to build realistically as to what kind of fun thing I would like to live. I know for a fact that the house I built in EverQuest 2, if I was a millionaire, uh, i.e. Richard Garrett, or somebody like him that would build some fantasy shit, like he built a dungeon on his own, uh, for people on his property, he built a, a actual dungeon and he hosts Halloween dungeon romps and lets kids come and explore the dungeon. But I would build something like my EverQuest 2 house, which I thought was amazing. So, let's head around. All of these light sources I put up in all the light sources are dynamic. Uh, this is not me. But all these guys, these village lampposts, these are me. So you go up the tree, that's me. This little guy, that's me. You, Everything here I placed. I got mushrooms, I'm kind of getting in. Oh, this whole little setup right here. This trees, um, this little stump, this rock, this lamppost. This is going to be a little chill seating area. God, I sound so weird. I don't even give a shit. Fuck it. Um, go over the bridge. And you move on to another little area. Oh, see, this is what happens. So you're to, this is your invisible wall. When you can't build past this area. Which is glorious as it would be to build this entire zone. You know, there's got to be some limits on it. I was hoping that this item upgrade would actually upgrade the size. But I do not think it is. But... So these are all mushrooms on stumps that I placed. Uh, all these light sources I placed. I would like to get a uh, get enough rep to get the death sky. That way it'll make this place nice and dark and all these light sources will really uh, 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 shine. So there's my well. I haven't done shit with that yet. A uh, little seating area, some couple books because bitches love to read. So moving on to my garden because I'm self-sustained, all organic. So this is my garden, yo. I got my wheelbarrow. I got my uh, my wagon full of nonsense, all my pots and shit. Um, all these rocks I actually placed on my own as well. Um, this little area, I have a thing about hanging light sources. I love them, and you'll see how much I love them very shortly. So, you know, these stumps here, mushrooms, you know, th these stumps as well. Kind of built a little mushroom bridge kind of thing. Um, I just, I don't know, I mean, I get sucked into this. I've literally been doing nothing but this for probably close to five hours now. Um, I'm really hoping, for this reason, I want this to be more like a stable, and maybe a blacksmithing area, some shit like that. I'm hoping that you can actually buy, uh, animated, like, uh, maybe even, um, I know that, uh, Storm Legion has sheep and shit that are running around the landscape. I would like to actually buy, like, um, animated animals and shit to put in my area but I got a bear rug, some fox skins, uh, some miscellaneous weapons and armor. I'm kind of just placing shit right now until I get a good uh, real f uh, idea of what I'm gonna do. There's the invisible wall again. So oh oh what is this? It is beautiful. Don't look at it yet. It's not glorious enough. So I'm gonna peek out. I got a little beehive action going. Um, I am self-sustaining all organic uh, beehives. Gonna eat my honey. Oof. Fucking weird. Okay. Uh, th that area right there, those are some water plants I put down. I literally put those down. Oh, yo, I get elaborate with this shit. You see these tiles that I'm not even done with yet? These stone tiles? Self-placed. Um, I am gonna build Stonehenge. I'm literally going to build a small Stonehenge uh, because of aliens. So, I'm gonna build a Stonehenge replica. That's how cool you can get. You can buy the stone blocks and you can stack them at any size you want. I'm going to literally build a stone hinge. I'm fucking so psyched on doing that. <clears throat> so let's loop around. Um, go back over, head into the house. So we're going to go up. Head on in. There's another area over here. Um, Oh, you can see actually the light source is reflected onto the landscape. That's awesome. Like the windows shining on. There's another area over there behind that fence. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with that area as well. So let's go back through my um, house. 
I mean, when I played EQ2, I had a guild hall in several houses that I spent hundreds of hours fully fleshing out. Alright, this is the glorious moment. Welcome to my tree of life that I'm fucking working on. So, I don't really know what else is going to do with this yet, but I love hanging shit. Um, I hung about 80-something lanterns off this tree. Um, this is actually a couple trees. So I got, I'll actually go into edit mode right here. I got one big tree that you can resize and make as big as it can go or as little as you want it if you even want a potted tree. But then I took another tree, which is a totally different asset. I flipped it around, rotated it, <clears throat> and made it another branch. And I'm going to continue to do that. And uh, this is going to be like a tree of life situation. Like, like some like, you know, I'm feeling like a Princess Mononoke vibe. Um, if anybody ever watched that anime, of course I have, um, it's great anime. But I'm gonna hang, hanging lanterns and ha off every part of this tree. This tree is gonna grow as big as I can make it. I just want it to be, like, absolutely insane. So, let's turn off edit mode again. Go back around here. So, this is my idea, and this is what I'm working on. <clears throat> I'm actually going to build a dock. The dock's going to go out. This is the beginning of it. There's my little fence. This is actually a ladder <coughs> that I just rotated and turned on its side. I mean, you can get crazy with this shit. And it's so intuitive and smart. So you can select several planks at once. So, you know, let's just select these. I'm not going to fuck it up, but it took a while to get them all this place. So I can select those. And I can rotate the group how I want them to rotate you know up down left right hit escape so I don't fuck that up oh no hold on let me fix this this is gonna bum me out hold on yo okay let me get this so you can rotate I forgot each rotation is a save like each alternate angle is a save so you can rotate groups of items any way you want and you can always do it so let me put you guys back thank you so, <clears throat> you can move this as a whole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this dock. I'm going to curve it around. And I'm going to build a, like a dock area around this big ass rock under this cool tree. And um, that's going to be like, you know, my set piece. You know, it's going to be like the centerpiece of this whole area. Um, I'm going to grow this tree big as hell. Like I want to get really fun with it. Um, I want to build docks going all the way up the tree i just want a crazy like if anybody saw um which everybody saw avatar their tree of life i'm um, that i'm making a tree of life i don't even give a shit so i'm gonna do i'm gonna build up and out gonna build all the way up and i'm gonna build as high as i can go on my crazy tree of life it's going to take me forever but it's going to be totally chill and just so much fun um Let's see, like, you know, there's different ways to do this, like, to get these level like this. What I did is I actually took all of my planks, and I went to the flattest surface I could find, which is, you know, my porch. <clears throat> I laid them all out how I wanted as planks, and then selected all, then moved all of them at once, and then brought the whole stack over here. So it's really not hard. Their controls are really great. Um, you know, something like this, like, I can select this. And, you know, I can resize it any way I want, nice and big, small, whatever. And I don't want to resize it because I spent time doing that. But, um, you know, I think this is the best housing system to ever be put in a game. I mean, there's no arguing with it. Not that every game has ever had some, but these dudes were, uh, Tryon wasn't content and just, like, thro throwing you a house. Like, they threw you a fucking sandbox to play in. And it is cool, but it is expensive. Uh, I mean, I'm just so, I'm just so digging it. <clears throat> um, I just want to make a quick fun video to, uh, show this off. Um, I'll probably make a few. I'm thinking of starting a, a, ri a crift ribs. I mean, a crift ribs. <laughs> uh, fucking riff cribs, man. Just like a, like a couple episodes, maybe weekly, uh, of, uh, different housing throughout rift to showcase it. Um, I'm sure a hundred other people have the same idea. But I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do whatever I want. Um, 
Oh, you know, I'll cut this video short. Um, as always, this is Mobs, uh, POVGaming.tv. You can follow me on Twitter, at MobsDeep. Um, thank you very much. Later on, guys.